I'm talking Canik SFX rival today, okay? You see it right here. Guns clear. All right. This what? Canik SFX rival, I want to send a big shout out to OTMI Targets. OTMI Targets knew that I was the type of guy that needed to put some shots down range with a Canik SFX rival, and they made sure that I got linked with the proper people. Sent a big shout out to Lock and Loaded out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Lock and Loaded, y'all were the only people who had this gun in stock. Canik the SFX rival, you see it right here. Yeah, read it and weep like they say. OTMI, there's no way that I can't thank you for your help with what it is you provided getting this into my hands, yo. So let's get this started right here. I'm gonna start right here. It's a five inch barrel, okay? Um, a lot of times we wanna compare certain firearms to other firearms. We'll compare this to a Glock 34. This is the exact length of a Glock 34. I put them side by side with each other and they match up. This is about the size of everything a Glock 34 has on it from the grip to the barrel length to the width of it. The Glock is just a tad bit wider. We'll just go right to the trigger, okay? Boom. Look at that. Just look at where that reset is at. The trigger is something that everyone marvels about when they've been talking about this firearm. It's the trigger, the trigger, the trigger. It's performance, it's this, it's that. It's ready for shooting at competitions right out the box. It's a great bedside gun. I wanted to know if this was a good gun that you can actually carry, that you can put on you and you can take with you in your you know, travels throughout the day. This slide is very, very nice. I like all the serrations on the slide. If you're the type of person that likes to perform press checks and stuff like that, your hands, they catch right onto these and they don't give it a chance to slip. I like that. Then this little cutout right here, if it is that you actually do have some slippery on your hands or anything is slippery, this catches your hand right there and you still get a lot of space so that you can actually check to see if you're around this chamber, In the okay? indicator right there. So right now this gun is ready to fire, pull it, you see it disappeared. Bam, we've, slide, we've racked the slide. You see that I actually have that indicator back. So I know when this gun is in position to be fired. The slide okay. release is ambidextrous. You have it on both sides, right? And I like how it is your hand fits on it. For me, the guy with the hands of my size, it's stiff enough so that I'm not gonna be manipulating it the wrong way when it is I'm actually shooting. So it's almost like a little thumb rest for me. And I can rest my thumb right there. And they sent the gun with a magwell. This magwell, nice Canic magwell. You see it's written on there. This Canic magwell, it just helps my hand get the right type of seating on this firearm the way it is that I actually like it. There's an undercut, a double undercut to say the least, on the, the trigger guard, okay? So a lot of times with my Glocks, I wanna go in and I wanna have that undercut cut in there so that my hands and they fit the right way and I can get the right grip on there. Canik sent it with that. The magazine release is oh so nice on this gun. You press it, ah, let me show you something. We'll take a magazine, we'll put a magazine inside this firearm. Boom, right? My finger, it's right there. I can get it right out. My finger is right there. With some of my Glocks, I need to manipulate the Glock. I need to turn it a little bit, cant it some, so that I can get that magazine out of there. I'm not going through those issues with the Canik. Okay? Inside the box, they gave you three different size levers or three different size buttons that you can change this to, and you can take this off and have a really short button. And I choose the really short button just in case I'm gonna inside the waistband carry this. They got a rail right here. The rail accepts my X300 lights that I love to run, and it just, it clicks right on, it stays, it's in a stable, nice flush position. Sometimes we have an issue with finding in the waistband holsters for certain Canic guns, right? Um, if you're a guy who wants to carry in the waistband, I would suggest finding yourself a quality holster. And I have a holster here in which, you know, this is not a paid sponsorship. This is a Filster floodlight holster. And with this Canic, if I feel like I wanna conceal this Canic, take it out on a good day, it's the winter time, I can cover up, I can bundle up a little bit more. If I wanted to carry this, I have my X300 light that I can use with my Filster holster and I can take this out. Canic took the chance to put inside their box a holster, okay? This is actually a decent holster. I love, number one, it's got Rival written right there on the holster, so you already know what it is, right? And it's an outside the waistband holster. You know, it's nice. It has some, it has some retention in it. So, you know, you can jiggle it. This gun is not gonna come right out. You know, you give it the right type of force and it'll be coming right out. And 
I just love this. I love everything that Canik put inside the box with this gun. Canik did a really good job figuring out what it is that some people really needed when it was they were going to be shooting this gun. Another thing that I like, let's talk about the sights on this gun, okay? We have a fiber optic sight here on the front. That fiber optic sight is paired with a sight in the back that is adjustable. You can totally adjust the sight in the back. You see, you've got your windage and you have your elevation. Elevation right here, windage right here. And then on top of that, they provide you with the optic plates so that you can take this off and you can drop a plate right on top of here and you name it. You name your type of optic, it's gonna sit on top of this slide the right way there's a lot of things that i look for when it is i choose a firearm that's for myself i like firearms that you can find accessories for first and foremost it's okay and it's cool to have you know vintage firearms but if you can't find accessories like extra magazines magazine wells um holsters you know things like that fit for red dots whether it's cut or not people who actually cut those slides for those red dots it's a lot of those things that are very intricate to me in my choosing of why it is i choose a certain firearm that is something that's very important so now we're going to take a chance we we'll put some shots down range with the cannon these are the very first shots o otmi you see the otmi steel right here you know what it is that i'm shooting where my shots are going down range blinging off bing 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 OTMI Steel, y'all make sure y'all look them up. That is an absolute great company. I've been shooting this steel for in excess of four years. It's working. It's doing everything that it is that I bought it to do. It's doing everything it is that they promised me it would do. OTMI Steel. Oh, is it such a great shooter? I mean, yo, it's a great shooter. Let me put the energy in there the way it's supposed to be. Everything on this firearm is set up the right way. When I was just shooting, it just seemed like all I had to do was place that optic on what it was that I wanted to shoot. It did not matter the distance. It actually covered the distance really well. I love shooting this gun. OTMI, I want to say thanks, yo. You're my biggest sponsor. You're my biggest supporter, OTMI. And I love you. I want to say thanks so much, fellas. Just look at what it is they send you inside the box. And I'll start at the top, okay? You got your back, extra back straps that are at the top. You have a tool that's right there, which is a punch. That's for taking the back straps out and for also pushing the pins out. This little cute little gun right here has a whole bunch of tools on the inside and you can use it as a wrench. They send you some cleaning products right there, cleaning rod and also for you to something for you to put your patches in. You also have a magazine loader right there. And then when you come down to the bottom side of the box, you actually have your gun. That Canic SFX Rival looking good in Canic gray with the gold accents. They were mindful enough to send you a trigger lock right there. Other than the trigger lock, we'll look over here on the right hand side. You got two spare magazines right there. You got some back, you got some plates for the bottom, some base plates for your magazines that are actually on the bottom. Plus, you have four optic plates that they send you also, and the magwell was also included.